Sorry I'm late. I was watching an episode of Boy Meets World. Remember Eric? Welcome Offset. My name's Tyler, and here Offset, we're gonna take you guys to all the people that are making noise in the entertainment industry. And on today's show, we have two guys that have been making noise for almost 15 years. I'm talking about Fresh Phil Guerrero and PJ Paul McGuire. Now, I'm not gonna lie, these are two guys that I grew up on, and I know some of you guys grew up on too. Well, they're back together again on CMT's Karaoke Star. So uh, they were nice enough to invite us on set, and first I caught up with Phil Guerrero. Let's check it out. Phil, how you doing, man? I'm good, I'm good. Nice to meet you, Tom. It's nice to meet you, Phil. Now, you've been all over the place. Oh, I've just been touched by Phil Guerrero. There's nothing better than that. Well, let go of Tyler. Yeah. Now, I'm back together with Paul. You remember Paul, my old uh, co-host. Yes. Yeah. From near the end of my days in the zone, which I'm sure make you cry, do, make you sad, look you touch your face and fake cry like an actor. So here's, a, here's an interesting question yes. for you. You're stranded on an island, Phil. Okay, I, I play this game by myself. Okay. Go on. <laughs> you're, stranded, you're stranded on a desert island. You can only have yes. one person with you. Would it be the Fuzz Paul Warren, who you all remember? Oh. Would it be Snit? Or... Uh. Would it be uh, PJ Ashna? Are there girls on this island? Well, there could be if you chose PJ Ashna. That's exactly it. Well, you know, I have to say Snit. I would have to say Snit. I'm glad to hear that. What was the other choice? Warren Chester Grog? Yes. You know his full name. We didn't get along, remember? <laughs> That's Snit, true. I had, um, Snit, I had a, I had a real connection with. I have to okay. say, I had, a, I had a great connection with. But did you know someone started a homepage? Like a like a little is it what would it be proper terminology to call it like a small kind of website? Yep, yeah, it is. It's proper. World Wide Web. Is it really? Yeah. So yeah, someone start a homepage. We'll tell you all about it. It's, it's a small cool. page, but you are a small guy. Yeah. I'm just bugging you. What's the best show you've been on? What's the show you've had the most fun? Oh, on? that's easy as the zone. Like, what, you know, the there's show. bits. Uh, yeah. You know, introducing shows after school, but that was ten years of my life, and oh my gosh, I, I changed so much. And yes. but I got to mention, I'm a little nervous because keep uh, flashing these rings, and uh, we all know what kind of power those rings have. Do you remember? Uh, I don't know if the can bling. you still do it? The uh, the lightning bolts out of the ring out of the rings there. Remember that? Uh, you still have that power? Oh. I mean, we don't have the, oh, we don't have the post production technology that YTV had, but. It, you could do it. Right? You're weird, dude. I forgot about this, but now I now oh, I, I remember. remember. Okay. The zone. The, the zone. Was it like that? that Something was, like that? You remember, man? That's magical. I remember that shit. Hey, the top dog. I'll never leave you, Tyler. It's touching me, and I'm not gonna let it stop. It's not gonna fight it. I'm a real thing, you know. He's I'm real. not just something this on TV. This is a real Phil Guerrero man. You can take me home, meet your parents, and we can go. eat I'm, dinner. That's what we're gonna do. A little yes. thing now. It's called uh, open options. Okay. And basically, I'm just gonna say two things, and you choose uh, what what you prefer. So it's pretty easy. Uh, the first one, Usher, Usher, or Justin Timberlake. Justin Timberlake. Okay, I knew kidding? that. I did my research. I knew you. I knew you were gonna say that. Tearing up my heart when I. Is there somebody uh, that stands out like a real? For me, it's you. But uh, for you, was there some celebrity that I'll really? I'll never leave you, Tyler. So that's the fourth time you touched me. For those counting at home. Actually, I gotta leave you in about yeah ten minutes. But um, an interview that sticks out. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. You know what's an interesting one is an interview that an interview that sticks out that I did at the time. I, I really couldn't care less. But later on in my life, I realized what a legend I met was Roger Corman. I mean, this guy discovered, he was, a, he was a director of B-movies in the 60s. Okay. He discovered Jack Nicholson and guys like that. Okay. And here I am, I remember being in that office. I didn't know his history. And um, he had Academy Award nominations on his wall. Really? You know, this guy, he's, he's old school, my man. If you go into film, the, the history of film, this guy. We'll look him up. Yeah, he discovered a lot of big name. Peter Fonny he started like a lot of stuff back then. And uh, you know, and there's a picture of him, you know, being a coach of his grandson's baseball team in, in LA. It was really interesting. And I look back, I'm like, wow, I met that guy. You know, that that's an interesting one. Was that for, the, for me. Was that for YTV or was that afterwards? That was for YTV. It was okay, for the cool. anti-gravity room because he he was like a B movie director and we we delved into comic books as well as like entertainment. Ahoy, Abasti, Landy. Yeah, how are yeah. you? Going? 
So we're, I guess we should wrap up because we're gonna uh, we're gonna be uh, attacked here in a second. But uh, uh, who was it you said it was your big interview? That was uh, the guy you just mentioned. Oh, uh, Roger Corman. Roger but Corman. That's, For know. me, it's Phil Guerrero. Uh, and I'm the uh, Roger you're you're my time. Roger Corman and Phil. This is huge. I think I can't thank you enough, man, for doing this. Peace out. All right, that guy's one of my idols, man. I, I watched him for almost ten years growing up as a little kid. And uh, later that day, we actually went to the set of Karaoke Star. And when we got there, we caught up with the other half of that legendary zone duo, Paul McGuire. Let's see what he had to say. And, uh, we're here with the Nightcrawler. This is, uh, of course, you may know him as DJ Paul, but uh, he's been on TV now as long as I can remember. We all grew up with him. And of course, he's reunited with PJ Phil, and they're back on. It was YTV before. Yep. Now, and then it was YTV and CMT. YTV for like uh, seven, seven years, anyway, for me. And you know what? We're, we're, we paid for it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, Snit. You and I, don't you think we should maybe get that pizza? We had this kind of, um, just out of necessity, when they would say, okay, you're on. You were just on, and you talk about stuff that happened to you today. And the content just had to come from us. The reason why it seemed so, like, live and off the cuff and... And everything is because it was live and off the cuff. Like truly, we didn't have a, a bunch of people working behind the scenes. It was just us. Phil and I knew that our, our audience was um, younger than we were, for the most part. Uh, but kids who are kids who are ten years old, if you tell them, uh, if you if you if you create entertainment for a ten year old, you tell them this is for you. A ten year old doesn't want to hear that. So a ten year old wants to drive a car. A ten year old wants to, you know. Um, wants to watch movies that they're not allowed to watch. They want to do all that stuff. So Phil and I would just talk to each other like we were buddies, because we were. And we would talk to the, to the audience like they were our friends, because they were. And, um, as opposed to kind of like, okay, today what we're going to do is we're going to make paper airplanes. You know, and I would watch stuff like that. I'd be like, if I was a kid watching that, I'd turn off immediately. So kids aren't stupid. They're smart. So so you're talking about The Zone, and you moved on pretty quick. It wasn't. I remember it wasn't too long after you weren't... Uh, Y2K compatible that you showed up on CMT. It wasn't that long, was it? What I did was, uh, uh, I, when I left YTV, I went to CTV. And I did a okay. show there, it was a show called E Now. And it was a half hour entertainment show, kind of like Entertainment Tonight. And it became E Talk. That's the show that's hosted by Ben Mulroney now. Okay. And I, uh, I hosted and produced that show, helped create E Talk actually from E Now. Um, and it was, you know, just a, an entertainment magazine show about movies and, and bands and, and all that stuff. So nothing that, because we did a lot of that stuff on the zone. You know, whenever bands came to town, there was kind of um, us and much music and stuff. So I had a, kind of a, a lot of history in, in interviewing bands and actors and uh, you know astronauts and scientists and whoever. They would all want to come through YTV. Um, so when I went to I went to CTV and I was there for three years, about a year doing E Now. We trans we, we turned it into E Talk, which was super cool. And then I went freelance. And I went out into the world and did a, a couple of uh, other lifestyle shows for Alliance and Lanes. A friend of mine that had worked at YTV had moved over to CMT, and she said, you know, you should come in and audition for, uh, for this hosting gig on, uh, on CMT. And I, I'm a big music fan. I've played, in band, I've played in bands all my life. I love music, but I didn't know a whole lot about country. I know my Johnny Cash and my Willie Nelson. At the time, I did. There's an audience out there for you guys. If you go on the internet, uh, YouTube, anything like that, it's it's all about people saying, we want you guys back, we want you guys back. Finally got it, everyone's excited about it, but they would love a zone style show. You guys got that chemistry. Yeah. You have some, there's something about you guys, it's just, uh, it's glue. You want to watch it. And uh, It's an honor, man, it's an honor. We got to pitch your show real quick. It starts to air, I think, in October, is when... Uh, 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 Karaoke Star starts airing August 20th. Okay. And there's eight episodes. The the Halifax Dartmouth episode airs on October the first. October first. Yeah. And can we check out your radio show in the Maritimes? Is there yeah, you can. You can the internet. We can go online. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. The, uh, uh, country953.com. You guys got a huge following in Halifax. Pleasure, Paul. Thanks, Paul's brother. a great guy. We ran into him. He's Thanks, helping son. us out big time. No, it's all good. Check out CMT Karaoke Star and just check out Paul. I mean, he's, he's a good guy. And. Uh, what else can you say? I raised you a well. A I legend. I raised you well, young man. A legend in this industry. <laughs> Paul McGuire. Thanks, man.